Marketing Strategy for Authors, written by Tao Wang, narrated by Shannon Thompson. The Rule of Seven, that is, the Rule of Seven, or Twenty, or Five, for ads. Specifically, this is the idea that you need multiple interactions or views with an advertisement or brand before an individual will take action. I put the other numbers in brackets because the research for many of those numbers is not very robust at all. That number often changes depending on the research article you read, so take any specific criteria as a best guess. The idea is that you need repetition to break through the noise that an individual experiences. Some research studies show that individuals are exposed to hundreds of brands within a few hours of waking. The first instance of this rule came back in the 18th century by Thomas Smith. This is the full quote: "The first time people look at any given ad, they don't even see it. The second time, they don't notice it. The third time, they are aware that it is there. The fourth time, they have a fleeting sense that they've seen it somewhere before." The fifth time, they actually read the ad. The sixth time, they thumb their nose at it. The seventh time, they start to get a little irritated with it. The eighth time, they start to think, "Here's that confounded ad again." The ninth time, they start to wonder if they're missing out on something. The tenth time, they ask their friends and neighbors if they've tried it. The eleventh time. They wonder how the company is paying for all these ads. The twelfth time, they start to think that it must be a good product. The thirteenth time, they start to feel the product has value. The fourteenth time, they start to remember wanting a product exactly like this for a long time. The fifteenth time, they start to yearn for it because they can't afford to buy it. The sixteenth time. They accept the fact that they will buy it sometime in the future. The seventeenth time, they make a note to buy the product. The eighteenth time, they curse their poverty for not allowing them to buy this terrific product. The nineteenth time, they count their money very carefully. The twentieth time, prospects see the ad, they buy what is offering. Since then, we've had other people come up with various numbers. But how true is it? You are not the market. As usual, I've seen a lot of comments about how they buy things immediately or not at all, or I've never bought anything from an advertisement. Setting aside the significant amount of research that shows people do not know what they are doing, it is worth remembering: you are not the market. It's why Paco Underhill spent hours and hours watching security camera recordings of how people moved through a store. It's why usability designers do eye tracking studies. When you're marketing, put aside your own prejudice and conceptions of what you'd do. Look at the data and research. Real world experience. That being said. Didn't I just say that I couldn't find research showing the number of repetitions required? Yes, but research has shown that you need repeated repetitions to increase everything from sales to brand recognition. I'm not going to dig through the numerous marketing studies to find the information. Instead, I'll just tell two stories. Firstly, in the early 2000s. A major financial organization was running advertisement in print papers. Specifically, they were running a couple of full-page and half-page advertisements for the usual brand awareness reasons. A smart marketer decided, instead of running a couple of large ads, they would test something out. They took their advertising budget and, without making it smaller, worked with the newspaper to create multiple smaller, less expensive advertisements. These advertisements were split into sections across the entirety of the paper, from the news to entertainment sections to classifieds. Instead of two or three ads, they now had ten or twenty or more. I don't actually recall if they even gave the number. Guess what? Brand awareness and recognition shot up by a significant number after they started doing this. 
significantly enough that the organization actually won the Canadian Marketing Award for the year. The story struck me because a short time before that, I was running a test of my own. We'd created a new website for a product I was selling. We hadn't done any marketing or advertising, so I had almost no visits and definitely no sales. We then ran an advertisement, print ad, half page, in a single magazine. That's it. One advertisement in one magazine. It came out once a month. We booked for three months at the time, all to test the efficiency of that specific magazine. Here's the interesting thing. First month, $350 in sales. Month two, $500 in sales. Month three, $1,200 in sales. What changed? Nothing. We still received almost no organic website visits. We had no search engine equity or rankings. The only thing that promoted the site was that single advertisement in that single magazine, repeating three times. Now, there's an argument that people couldn't afford what we sold, it was a bit expensive, and so had to wait for the first few months to get their money. And that might be true. But I have a feeling it's more the constant repetitions. The Takeaway Consistency and repetition of your brand is important. When building a promotional campaign, build out for the long term with multiple touch points. You need to do so to push people down the sales funnel. A single campaign burst might see quick results, but a long term campaign will see bigger results in general. You have to keep touching your demographic, making them aware of you before they'll act. This should influence what you intend to buy because some markets, see print newspaper ads, are too expensive to do on the regular. <laughs>